What's up, YouTube? I'm gonna change out the reels. I got two guide trips in one day. I don't typically do that, but um, back to back guide trips, and I am prepping all the reels. A lot of my reels had started running out of braid, so I need to restock them. I'm gonna go through the process of what I do. Nothing special, to be honest with you. But then we're gonna get out there and we're gonna catch some fish. We're gonna explore a part of the lake that we have not explored up to this point. And uh, the reason why I'm doing that is because that's where I'm picking up this guide trip. So I figured, heck, if I could find some stuff right around that area, that'd be nice to be able to stick around there for at least a while. Take that reel off. I always reel, bring a reel here that's full. I just do it in my house the evenings before. I keep a little shelf full of them, different sizes. Um, I always fish with the Optimal. That's the number one for me personally on my lake. But regardless, I uh, have it always ready to go, ready to rock and roll. So I just bring it out here and I thread it through the eyelets and I'll show you what we're gonna we're gonna rig up today. Really no secret, it's what I always use, but uh, I know we're gonna be casting for them and we're hoping we're gonna find some major piles that I'm not aware of and I'm gonna show how we do that with live scope and all that stuff. Okay, so this is my setup. As we all know, and I've gotten comments, you only use a 132nd ounce jig? Yes, I do, that's all I use. Um, my favorite color is orange. That's the three pound fishing jig head right there. I tie it directly to the braid. I don't need any leader or anything like that. But the visibility on my lake is about four foot. So um, this is a loop knot, it goes through the eyelet, a danglet. I twist it around there about four or five times. Then I grab that jig and I go right back through and it creates this gob of stuff, right? And all I do is I kind of kind of work it so that it gives me the smallest loop knot as possible. I really like, that's like perfect. That's roughly around a quarter of an inch right there. And uh, we simply just snip it off, and that's all I use here. Now this is uh, this is the sniping braid optimal. This is the first version. This is a four strand .10. I can't get away from it because I love the smoothness of it totally. But you do need to know what you're fishing with, so it's not something you're gonna go crazy with in terms of setting the hook. Otherwise, it works awesome. So we're gonna comp complement it with. Uh, the number one paddle tail in the in the nation, as far as I'm concerned, two inch right there, modified. This is the monkey milk, monkey milk version right there. And I don't care if you put it on right side up, upside down, that's what it looks like right there. Now, the easiest way for you to ever catch it on live scope and to get it down there faster is to add a number seven split shot right there. And I use my teeth, you shouldn't do this. And that, folks, is my setup. All day long, it don't matter. Fished with this setup for so many years that uh, on any clear body water, it just seems to be the ticket. So that line pops, brand new line. I love brand new line. And uh, we're gonna do one more and then we're gonna hit, hit the water. The boat sickness is kicking butt. It is kind of painful to see it get dirty. It is getting dirty, uh, but we clean it up, keep it nice and uh, do our best to keep it nice. So. Let's hit the water. Here we go. One mean motor right there. She talking to you. She talking to you. The boat might be a he, but she a she. But she one mean woman. stuff is working awesome now on my boat it's like seamless I feel like I haven't missed a touch since my last boat I am sitting to the right right now which I don't know why but I'm gonna stay here tell me that doesn't pop check how that pops that thing is screaming <laughs> in my boat that braid is just absolutely screaming Ain't nothing like putting fresh stuff on I'll tell you that right now so, here, let's see what we can find. Now what I do, and I've gotten lazy, 
important is I like just to scroll around. I'll scroll and search in up to about 100. Now I have the LVS32. I do not have the new one yet. I have it on order. Um, most of the feedback I'm getting on that new one is that it's about 30% better. So do you need to spend the money? Probably not. Um, but for the guys that want to make sure they got the, the best of the best, and uh, well, why not, right? So I am, uh, I'm gonna try it out. And we just threw down on some fish we just saw here just really quick and see if we have any takers. First guest on three pound fishing on the hair jig. That is the zombie hair jig, and that is our first guest right there. That's a good fish, it's a good starting, it's a great eater, solid fish. And uh, I don't know if this is the jig or not, but it is the zombie. Um, it wouldn't touch the gumdrop today. I don't know why. But, uh, ooh, and that's number two. Second drop with it. Maybe it is the zombie. I don't know. What a good eater. That was two back to back. Pretty dang quick. Right there. Right there. I was going to talk to everybody about settings, even though it's not on the uh, thumbnail or anything like that. Interesting story. I think I told this in another episode as well, but I called Garmin, which by the way, have the best customer service. Unbelievable. But um, my settings now on this 8616 is the default settings. I don't mess with anything. Um, literally, I'm at 61% gain. I'm at, you know, I've got uh, my medium noise reject. TVG is off. These are the default settings, at least on this unit. Um, so, you ask me about settings that's what I'm gonna tell you now start off by going back to your defaults because I'm telling you they're actually pretty impressive especially underneath this this new update which I like the new update so I currently have an 8616 I also have a 126 SB down here which you're actually mounted on right now and that will be used for yeah, I've had a cool down uh, we had a lot of hot weather and then all of a sudden we've got this cool down so what I've noticed is that the fish are there's a lot more roamers around Water temperature sitting at 71 degrees, so I mean the water temperature is awesome. Um, but man, the fish seem to be all over. You know, you get near a pile and they seem to be just about. I mean, they're they're spread out now. What I'm doing right here is I'm I'm noticing that there's a lot of fish on this stump. Let me show you. Let me show you what I got going here. Right there. So you see that right there? That's my target. I'm out there about 30 feet. I'm not going to disturb them. Okay, so here it is. We got that it's the same stump I just showed you. There's one. Good fish. That's a solid fish right there. Paddle tail, I'm telling you, that's always the ticket. Let him go. Let them go. If you guys are interested in guide trips, guide trips are going really well. And um, like I said, I'm out here to, tonight primarily just to see what's going on. Um, but June, the month of June has some availability. So reach out to me. June, July, man, if you guys are making visits to Southern Illinois, um, I do get people asking me, where, where am I located? It is Southern Illinois. <laughs> just play with hair jigs now seeing what you know this one this is a kind of the first drop with this guy but first good drop not a big fish but um, he reacted to it that's for dang sure so we'll see Got another guy right there trying trying different things and um, and if I find the right jig what I'll do before guy trip is I'll make about five of them just to have extras there's another one second drop 
Well, that's eater fish for sure. And then if I really like it, it makes it to the website. But you know, they, they, they tend to be off and on sometimes. So this one right here, I'm impressed by it so far. Black head, chartreuse body, yellow tail. I grabbed it because I like the chartreuse body and the, and the black head, it being such a contrast. I thought maybe that would be, well, it was different than what I was trying, so I figured, why not? All right. Well, I think we figured it out. Uh, I really like this jig right here, so I might make a couple extra of these for the guide trip. And uh, basically, it seems like these fish are really snapping on stuff right now. And I think it has to do with this cool, this cool down um, from the heat that we had. Um, kind of me just guessing really, but man, they're very active, way more active than they have been. And um, coming right over this pile right now. Ooh, I cannot believe it didn't take it. And so I'm excited. It's a full day of fishing tomorrow. And uh, getting really to compare the evening bite to the uh, morning bite. This time of year I don't know if it necessarily matters. I'm short of uh, boat traffic is a real big deal difference here. But. foot Ozark rod, the one I built my three pound fishing elite series off of actually. Um, I still use them out, throw them away, um, but I do prefer the, uh, I do prefer my uh, three pound fishing rod. It's a little stiffer. Love it. Watch this, another drop and this is going to be it because there's a guy watching. Boom. <laughs> We're gonna get out of here. This is a good fish. This might be picture fish. Yeah, it's a nice fish. We're gonna make some of those hair jigs up. And save this spot for tomorrow. I think this will be the number one spot we'll go to. Thanks for watching, folks. Thanks for watching 3 Pound Fishing, partnered up with these fantastic companies. Looking to catch one more fish here. Ooh, and there's a good fish right there. I appreciate you guys watching, folks. I uh, appreciate the support, especially through the summer months. I know we're all fishing. If you can watch the videos, I appreciate it. Uh, we'll talk crappie fishing all summer.